shoreline. Look at that. There's your treasure. God damn. Was it worth it? Hey, Nate. Where is Sam? Oh, he's right there. Sam? Relax, he's alive. Oh, this idiot nearly got us all killed. I'm getting him out of here. No, you're not. Ray, if you can have the treasure, all right? Just let me save my brother. <coughs> <laughs> After everything he's done? How noble of you, but no. We stay here any longer and we're all dead. Is that what you want? It's not what I said. What do you think, Nadine? <coughs> Good to see you up and about. Be a deer and relieve Nate there of his gun. Hand it over. You really think you can trust him? Huh? Not your concern. Now, why are you trying to instigate? Nate? Nadine and I are partners. I don't screw over my partners. Get over there. You and your brother, though. Right from the start, you took advantage of my generosity. You tried to cut me out, and it's high time you learn. What are you doing? Now you give me your gun. <laughs> Nadine? I won't ask you again. You are being profoundly stupid right now. Look over there. Nadine, stop screwing around. Jesus! I said look! Okay, it's a couple of skeletons. So what? I don't know as much about history as you boys, but I've got a pretty good idea who those two are. Well, enlighten us. It's Avery and two. They killed each other. Good for them. What's the point? Everyone obsessed with his treasure gets what they deserve. So what, you're just leaving us here to die? Oh, I'm just leaving. Whether you die or not, I don't really care. Nadine, wait. So long, Rafe. Nadine! Nadine! You open this goddamn door right now! Rafe, she's gone! Come on, give me a hand, we'll all get out of here. Won't work. Come on, help me with Sam and I'll help you open the door. No, I'm not going to be able to enjoy one of these coins. Knowing that you and your worthless brother are still sucking here. Just, just calm down. You can practice your fencing when we get outside. Nate, just shut up. Seriously, Rafe, this is insane, even for you. You want to hear insane? Nathan Drake raced a madman and his entire army to the steps of Shambhal. Yes, Jesus. Nathan Drake found the lost city in the middle of the Rubal Kali Desert. Ah! Ah! Jesus. God damn it. Come on, we can get out of here together. Nathan Drake discovered the fable, El Dorado. Come on, Rafe. Stop. Nathan Drake is a legend. <laughs> you know, I, I shot the man who told me that. Look, I get it. You don't like me very much. You know, for all your greatness, Nate, you have nothing. You are nothing. 
And I warned you to get out of my way. I have sacrificed everything to find Avery, and I'm not gonna let a couple of stupid thieves, a senile con man, and a washed up journalist take that away from me! You care about that parade of losers so much. I'm going to make sure they join you. On guard, dickhead. That's the spirit. Disappointed, Nate. Ah! 
Adios, amigo. I hear so much about. All right, all right. We're done here. I'm taking my brother and we're leaving. If you want to stay in Burma with the ship, you'd be my guest. You got me. You know what, Nate? Underneath all the bravado, you're just a sad little boy with delusions of grandeur. Who, by the way, can't fence for shit. So long, Nathan Drake. Nathan! Treasure Rafe. It's all yours. Holy shit. Hey, come on, let's get you out of here. It's too heavy. Strike it. Try again! It's no use. No. Come on! Take this! Damn it! Listen to me. Listen to me. All I ever wanted to do was find this treasure with you. Sam, hey, sure. we did it. We did it, brother, okay? It's all right. There's gonna be another way. Nathan, you gotta go. There's gonna be some. You gotta go! This tumped! There is no other way! Come on, Nathan, I gotta know you made it out all right. Nathan, the whole place is about to blow up! That's it. That's it! The hell you don't! You stress me! God damn it! Let's get your head down!
one crazy son of a bitch. She's wanna know it. Come on. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, feel free to sell anything I left behind. <laughs> sure, I can't give you a lift home. After the last few days, I think I'd like a plane with drink service and reclining seats. Plus, uh, she and I have a lot to talk about. Yeah, you do. And no more late night phone calls about one last time. <laughs> <laughs> Promise. Thanks, Sully. Take care, kid. Don't be a stranger. Next time you're in town, beers are on me. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and then the bunny escapes anyway, and it leaves little bunny surprises all over the headmaster's bed. Hey, 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 what are you telling her? Just about your little magic phase. Oh, I hate you. What was your stage name? Go on, tell her. Nate the Great. <laughs> it's not funny, it makes sense. In his defense, he was actually, you were pretty good. Uh-huh. Mm. Hey, look, Sam, it has been an experience getting to meet you. But the handshake? Well... Bring it in for the real thing, sister. You take care of this gnome skull, all right? Yeah, I will. I'll join you in a sec. Yeah. I like her. God help her, she sure seems to love you. <laughs> I know, right? Listen, the offer still stands. I appreciate it, but I'm good. I know, but if you feel like you're imposing, it's, you're not. We not talked about, about that. it. It's not about that. It's a little bit of that, okay? Yeah. But I just kind of thought that after we found Avery's treasure, I'd be satisfied. Uh -huh. Instead, I've uh, <laughs> kind of left with this strange feeling of emptiness. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, as thrilling as the next adventure might be, in the end, I always left with that same feeling. And sometimes you just gotta choose what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna let go. Well, I guess I'm just not there yet. And besides, you know, you've got a few ancient cities on me, and I can't let that slide, so. Yeah, I left a couple out there. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's, that's our ride. Yeah. Uh, 
Sam, you've come far. We sure have a little brother. Come on. Listen, you don't do anything I wouldn't do, all right? Get out of here, Vemus. <laughs> So, Victor, what's next for you, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> well, before I got dragged into this, I was working on a business deal of sorts. Of sorts? Hmm. Dangerous? Mm hmm. With these people, yeah. It's up there. Well, I just so happen to know a certain someone recently out of prison who might be perfect for this kind of work. Ooh, I don't know. Is he trustworthy? More or less. As is Portuguese. Quando seu marido volta para casa? What's that mean? How long before your husband gets home? <laughs> That'll do. Come on. You got any more of those cigars? Don't push your luck. <laughs> <laughs> 